we appreciate Valero and the Alamo Bowl and the city of San Antonio. Uh, we're looking forward to a, uh, to a great bowl game, uh, an awesome week, uh, being in a great part of the uh, country and terrific food and great people. Uh, our team's very excited, our coaching staff. So uh, we're looking forward to getting started later tonight. We're going to practice and uh, players will uh, move around for an hour and a half or so and then uh, get, get accustomed to the city and uh, look forward to a great week. A very Colorado is a very well coached team. Uh, defensively, they've had tremendous success, giving up uh, around 21 points a game. Um, don't give up very many rushing yards. Uh, for us, it could be as good, uh, maybe better than any secondary that we faced in the throwing game. Uh, offensively, their quarterback uh, he can throw it and run it. Uh, they have skill at the wide receiver position. The running backs making plays, rush for over a thousand yards. Uh, I think this is a great matchup. You have a, a number 10 team, a number 12 team, and uh, should be a great game. Got a lot of San Antonio kids on this team. What is it about San Antonio that you guys like coming down here? About five or six, well, more than that, really. Probably six or eight years ago, we felt like there were uh, quite a few players in this area that, uh, that were somewhat under-recruited. We jumped in and uh, have had tremendous success. And uh, when I look at the impact that the, the young men on, that are from the San Antonio area have made on our team, I was a little surprised myself. I guess I hadn't paid as close of attention to where they were all from, but uh, there's been a tremendous impact on our football team, not only this year, but the last five years with San Antonio players. Do you think that traditionally, Coach, that maybe San Antonio has been a little bit under-recruited? We, we think so. Um, there, there's so much uh, hype around Houston and Dallas, and, and in general, the state of Texas. You know, you're talking about 350 Division I players a year on average. And um, it's a little more remote when you get outside of San Antonio. you got to drive around a little bit to find some guys. But uh, we feel like that it's, it's been somewhat under-recruited the last six or eight years. Is it nice when you have that many people? That way, you know, they know exactly where to go in San Antonio. Well, they know where to go. I, I've heard them talking to the players, but you know, the, the age we live in with social media, uh, we can get instant information. Of course, I have three boys. Two of them are 12 and 15, so uh, they're pretty good at working those phones. But we've been here a number of times, uh, not only in bowl games, but uh, this has been a vacation uh, site for, for my family ever, ever since I've been a little kid. And uh, so we know a lot about San Antonio. We have our favorite places that we always want to eat at. Coach, you've been a lot of different Well, San Antonio has a, a great location for a bowl because they have the city and the river walk. Uh, the, the hotels are awesome. Um, the players can walk and get to uh, places for them to have entertainment. Same thing with the families, the children. And uh, it's just a great place. And we have a terrific place to play a game. You know, we know we're playing in, a, in an awesome uh, environment. It's going to be 72 degrees. And uh, so we're looking forward to playing the game in the dome. Mike, so much of the talk around bowl season is the team that wins the bowl is often the team that, that kind of wants it more. How, how would you sum up this class month of practice? Do you, do you like the attitude of the team? I, I like our attitude. You know, it's interesting. Both teams played in a conference championship game. And, uh, and I'm sure they wanted to win just as much as we did. And you go through a week or so after you lose what would be a conference championship game um, to get the guys back up and going. Our first couple of practices, as I shared with the local media back home, were, were pretty average. Uh, but that, since that point, um, the leadership and the chemistry of the team has taken over, and they've been tremendous. 